Hello everyone. Namaste. How are you all? Are you okay? I hope so. Well, today, probably you are waiting for your English class. I'm here now. Okay? We will do some pronunciation, speaking and grammar activities. Okay? This is based on grade 8, second unit. And more thing, if it is, well, if I, it is pronunciation and speaking as well as grammar practice. So, even other students can participate in classroom activities. Okay? For this, be ready. Are you ready? Good, good. Okay, let's start with this, with pronunciation. Okay? The pronunciation activities, they are given on page number 17 of graded book. If you have book with you, you can see there. Or you can look at it. But be before I start it, just remind the things we'll do today. Okay? Here, contents to cover, we'll do three things today. Three contents we'll cover in second unit. The first, pronunciation. Second one, speaking. And third one, grammar. Okay? And in pronunciation, we will try pronouncing some words and classify them based on their pronunciation, final pronunciation. Okay? Similarly, in speaking, we will try asking for permission and responding to permission. Asking and responding to them. Okay? And finally, we'll do grammar activities and in grammar activities, we will practice some yes-no question. Okay? Formation of yes-no questions and responding to yes-no questions. Well, let's start without delay from pronunciation. The first thing. Well, here on page number 17 of your book, this is given. Let's read it. What is given? Here is a list of words from the story. Well, the story we did in our previous class. Okay. Pronounce the words and put them in the correct column based on the last sound. Last sound means the final sound of the word. Well, one example of each is given. Well, there are some words. Asked, loved, insisted, agreed, lived, worried, wanted, said, smiled, handed, stopped, and scared. These are the words given. Okay? And then, you should be very careful when you listen to me pronouncing these words. Or, you can try pronouncing these words yourself. And then, classify them into three columns. Okay? Under to, do, and id. Based on their final pronunciation. For example, three words, the first three words are classified here in three columns. Okay? For example, A S K E D that is asked, is it? Well, asked, to sound is there at the end. Final sound is to. This past form A is pronounced as to, asked, is it? So it comes under to. Similarly, second word, loved, loved, try saying it, loved, the final sound, what is it? Duh, okay, so it comes under duh, is it so? And third word, insisted, insisted, with the final sound, it, good, try pronouncing it, insisted, good, so it's, it comes under it pronunciation. The final sound of insisted it, it. Well, now in the same way, you should classify all the words under three pronunciation, three final pronunciation. Okay, let's try. Okay, ready? Good. Listen to me. Now, the third, first, second and third, they are already given. Now, from fourth, we'll start. Well, this one. Agreed. Agreed. Try pronouncing it. Agreed. 
what sound comes at the end final sound duh okay so what you should write it okay you should write it under the the pronunciation in the same way another word l i v e d yes try it good lived again lived so the pronunciation is the okay it also comes under the pronunciation next one w o r r i e d that is worried worried what comes at as final sound what the final sound of worried worried good that is the so it also comes under the pronunciation next w a n t e d want it try pronouncing it want it want it okay so what is the last pronunciation it so it should come under it pronunciation is it so well next word said what is the last pronunciation da da it what is it good that is da so it should come under da next this one try it smiled what is it da or ta smiled da okay it should come under da now next handed what is it good handed handed so you should write it write the word under this column is it so okay handed now second last stopped stopped how do you pronounce stopped okay what is the last sound ta good so this word should come under ta now finally scared what is it scared okay the last sound is da so it should go here very good okay you well done okay you have done very well now you can try pronouncing some words all the past tense regular past tense are either they are pronounced either as to or do or it you can classify the words in this way very good very good now let's go to another okay second thing we should do today is what is it speaking well are you ready for speaking then very good okay let's start now let's see there what is under speaking under speaking activity a work in pairs match the questions in a with correct responses in b then act them out with your partner okay you can join your partner and then act out but before you start it you can do matching match the questions with their responses okay well there are questions a b c d e f okay let's read can i go out please b may i use your pen please c would you mind if i used your telephone d is it okay if i sit here e do you mind if i read it loudly and finally is it all right if i switch on the fan and now under column b there are responses they are not in order okay number a or response a no problem you can use it b not at all i like loud reading c yes you can d yes it's hot in here e i'm sorry i'm doing my class work f yes no one is sitting here well now these responses are the responses of some of the questions here all the questions here now you should match one question one response okay can you do it quickly now you have read all the questions and then their responses now with your pencil okay use your pencil and just draw lines to match in your book quickly can you do already done very great okay 
Some of you are doing, okay, you can complete it. Well, let's stop. Can I go out, please? What is the response? Yes, very good. The response is, can I go out, please? That is questions or asking for permission. And its response is, okay, that is, yes, you can. Good. Next one, B, may I use your pen, please? What is the response to it? What is it? Good. That is, I'm sorry, I'm doing my classwork. Is it so? Well, third one, C, question C, or asking for permission, C. Would you mind if I used your telephone now? Would you mind if I used your telephone now? Is response? Okay, good. That is no problem. You can use it. Is it? Next, D. Is it okay if I sit here? The response is yes. No one is sitting here. The response. Now, E. Do you mind if I read it loudly? What is the response? Not at all. I like loud reading. That is it, isn't it? Now, finally, is it all right if I switch on the fan? Okay, now you can do it easily. The last one is yes, it's hot in here, isn't it? Now, here the question under column A are the questions to ask for permission. Okay, and the responses under B, they are either response to grant permission or withhold permission. Okay, now make them. Now, A says one of you should say in pair. Okay, you should be working in pair, two should be working. And A says, Can I go out, please? And then B should say, Yes, you can. A should say, May I use your pen, please? And then B should say, I'm sorry, I'm doing my classwork. That is the way, okay? Well, say here, well, first, A can say, can I go out, please? And then B say, yes, you can. Similarly, B, may I use your pen, please? And B should say, I'm sorry, I'm doing my classwork. In the same way, you can continue. Can you do? Great, good, good. Okay, you can do very well. Well, now let's go to another task. What is there? Okay. Read it. B. Task B we should do. Work in pairs. Study the situation below. Take drones to ask for permission and respond to them. Okay. Well, there are situations given. And then one of you should ask for permission for that and another should respond to it. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Well, let's start. Well, example is given here. Kedar and Nima, they are talking. Okay. Kedar says, may I use your compass? And Nima is, I'm sorry, I'm using it. Nima is saying here. Okay. Now, Nima, well, Nima gives permission, grants permission or withholds permission. Withholds permission. Okay, Nima doesn't give permission to use it because Nima is using it. Now, in the same way, you can talk about these situations. In every situation, you can either grant permission or withhold permission. Okay, it's your choice. Or you can practice both ways, either granting permission, giving permission or withholding permission, not giving permission. Can you do? Okay, let's start individually with each situation, okay? Let's talk about each of the situations. Now, the first situation is you want to use your friend's computer. How do you make a request? Well, or how do you take permission? Is it so? You should ask for permission to use that computer. Okay, let's try. Using the structures, we learned before, okay? Well, 
Okay, now your two friends okay, are talking here this way. Would you mind if I use your computer? No problem, you can use it. Okay, here one student is saying, one of your friends is saying, Would you mind if I used your computer? And another friend is saying, No problem, you can use it. Okay. Now, you can use other structure. Is it all right if I use your computer? Or can I use your computer? Okay. Do you mind if I use your computer? So, various structures you can use to ask for permission to use your friend's computer. Okay. And no problem, you can use it. In place of that, you can also use, I'm sorry, I'm using it. Okay. That way you can use. Now, in the same way, situation B, you want someone to take your photo. You want someone to take your photo. In fact, in this situation, you should make a request to that person. Okay. Well, if you want to take his or her photo, you should ask for permission. Is it so? Yes. But here, you should ask for permission to take his time to take your photo. Okay? Try that way. Now, how students can talk about it? Let's try. Let's hear students or your friends talking. Okay? Well, let's listen to them. Do you mind if I request you to take my photo? I'm sorry, I'm not good at taking photos. Okay. Well, do you mind if I request you to take my photo? That way, is it? Or you can use some other structures. Any way you can do, okay? Using forms of asking for permission. Now, situation C, you want to have a glass of juice. How do you take permission or ask for permission? Just try. Okay, now here, let's listen to other friends talking. Can I drink a glass of juice? Yes, you can. It's for you. Okay, can I drink a glass of juice? Is it alright if I drink a glass of juice? That way. Okay? Yes, you can. It's for you. That is given here, isn't it? Well, come to situation D. You want to take your friend's notebook. Okay? You want to have that notebook. Now, you should ask for permission from your friends. How do we ask for permission? You can use any forms, any structures of asking for permission and try it out. Okay, try it, everyone. Well, now here one example is given. This is by your friends, okay? Friends reading in the same class. Let's listen to them how they speak. Is it all right if I take your notebook for a while? I'm sorry, I've given it to Hari. Okay. That's how they speak. Is it all right if I take your notebook for a while? And then another friend is saying, I'm sorry, I've given it to Hari. Okay. Similarly, situation E, you want to drink water. Well, if you want to drink water and if you need to ask for permission, how do we ask? Try it, everyone. Loudly, okay? Good, good. Okay, now here, two friends are talking about it. Let's listen to them. Is it okay if I drink a glass of water? Yes, you can take it from the jar. Good. Is it okay if I drink a glass of water? Yes, you can take it from the jar. Well, now, Last one, you want to take some rest. Okay, that is the situation. Now, you can ask for permission. Now, when you are in someone's house and then you want to take rest, you ask for permission. How do you ask for permission? Okay, good. Various structures you can use, various forms you can use. Well, now let's see how your friends talk about it. Do you mind if I take some rest on the bed? Yes, of course. You look tired. Okay. Do you mind if I take some rest on the bed? 
Yes, of course, you look tired. Well, that way you can ask for permission and give permission. Well, next thing. Okay, now let's come to grammar. Okay, grammar lesson given in unit 2. Well, in the beginning, in task A under grammar, one matching task is given, isn't it? Can you see in your book? Yes, of course. Well, now what is given there? Read it. Match the statements in column A with their correct questions in column B. In column B, there are questions and in column A, there are statements. Well, now match them first. Can you do? Do it quickly, okay? In column A, the statement A, I am late. B, I can help you. C, C is sleeping. D, we have met before. E, you work at home. F, it costs rupees 10. G, she went home. At they left for the cinema. And their questions, do you work at home? Second, does it cost rupees 10? Next, did they leave for the cinema? Next, am I late? Next, is she sleeping? Next, can I help you? Next, have we met before? And last one, did she go home? Now, you should match them. You can do very quickly, can't you? Many of you have done as well, haven't you? Good, okay. Draw lines and do it quickly, please. Within a few seconds you can do, can't you? Great, great. Okay, you have done. Well, now, that is not difficult. Is it difficult? No, not at all. Now, let's do it this way. I am late. Now, question form is, well, where is it? That is, fourth one, isn't it? Fourth question, am I late? Is it? Next, B. I can help you. What is the question of it? Yes, that is, can I help you? Next, she is sleeping. What are the questions of it? Is she sleeping? We have met before. What is the question form of it? Well, have we met before? E, you work at home. What is the question of it? Okay, here, do we work? Do you work at home? Next one, it costs rupees 10. What is the question of it? Does it cost rupees 10? G, she went home. What is it? Did she go home? And finally, they left for the cinema. The question of it is, okay, did they leave for the cinema? That way, you can make questions. Easy, isn't it? But now, find out the structure of yes, no question. They are yes, no question, aren't they? Yes, okay. You, yes, no question. You can answer with yes or no. Now, what is the structure used here? How they are changed? Now, this A, I am late and this A, am I late? What change is there? Yes, what change is there? What is the structure? Yes, in the beginning what comes? Subject, auxiliary verb, object, what comes in the beginning? Auxiliary verb, very good. Then, subject, okay, this is it the structure? Okay, good. Auxiliary verb, subject and main verb. Is it so? Good. Now, here what happens? For example, I am late. Full stop. This is the statement, isn't it? What happens here now? Now, there I am. They change their position. Okay? M comes in front of it. In, well, let's say M comes before I. Is it? Now, well, here M comes first and I goes second. So, their position changes. If there is auxiliary verb, just change the position. And finally, there is full stop. So, what you should do? Write question mark. Is it so? Now, it is question. Yes, no question. Easy, isn't it? Well, now it becomes 
Am I late? Good. Now, in the same way, you can try others. Now, here, look at the board here. I am late. You should change it into am I late this way. Okay? But see there, here, do you work at home is given, is it? So for this, okay, what is, where is the statement? You work at home, is it? You work at home. Well, now here, is your auxiliary verb? No. Then, what auxiliary verb do you use then? What is it? Do. Why do? Because it's in present tense. Good. Present tense. So, what you should do? Do. Well, for this, okay? Do you work? at home do you work at home that is the way isn't it but if there is um, s r e s inflection involved for example f statement f it costs rupees 10 well this is what this is e this is a now let's see F. What is there in F? It costs rupees 10. It costs rupees 10. Now, because of this S or ES inflection, when there is S or ES inflection involved, we use does in the beginning. Is it so? So, we write does. Does. Now, subject it. Now, when you use does, you don't need to write S or ES inflection. You should write base form of the verb. Is it so? Good. Now, what is it? Cost. Very good. Repeats. 10. Now, full stop. No. Question mark. Good. Now, in the same way, I'll do another one more here. I'll show one more here. Okay. That is statement G. G. What is there? She went home. She went home. Full stop. What do you use here? Can you use do? Does? No. You can use only did because it's in past tense, isn't it? So, what can you use? Yes, did. Did. See, can you use went? No, what can you use? Base form of the verb always. So, because it is verb to or let's say past tense, we are using did. When you use did, there should be base form of the verb. That is go. Well, did she go home? And then question mark. Good. This way you can change statements into yes no questions okay good okay now let's come to another now do some practice okay try changing statements into questions now change the following statements into yes no question talks b can you do now he loves this town they always play football. She can fly airplane. There are some smart students in the school. They went to the river yesterday. So there are 10 statements. You should change them into yes no question following the format we discussed, structure we discussed. Okay? Good. Okay, let's start. Well, first one, he loves this town. How do we change it? So there is Bob. S or ES inflection verb, isn't it? In verb, there is S or ES inflection. So, what do you use in the beginning? Does. So, how do you change it into yes, no question? 
Great. Does he love this town? Similarly, B. They always play football. How can you do it? Just adding do in the beginning. Is it so? And question at the end. Well, C. She can fly airplane. Try it. Can she? Fly airplane? Good, good. D. There are some smart students in this school. Well, where is the question from? There are. Well, are there? Well, you should change some into any. Okay, don't forget it. Well, well, are there any smart students in the school? Well, in question form, some changes into any. Well, next E. They went to the river yesterday. Change it into yes no question. Went past tense, isn't it? So, did they go to the river yesterday? Did they go to the river yesterday? Well, in the same way, F. She spends her money on books. Spends. So, what do we start with? Does. Okay. Does she spend her money on books? Next. He decided to leave the town. With the question. Okay. Did he decide to leave the town? Good. Next. She goes to bed early. With the question of it. Well, does she go to bed early? Next, they should write their homework. Where the question appeared. Should they write their homework? Is it? Well, and then the last one, he was born in India. Okay, easily you can do. Was he born in India? That way. Okay, was he born in India? Okay, great. You, you have done very well. Okay, keep practicing this thing. Now, finally, we'll practice one more thing that is responding to yes no question. Okay, we'll try quick responses, quick response. Now, write honest answer to these questions. Now, there are some questions you should answer them. Okay, do you study in grade 7? Do you? No, no, only no. No, I do not. Okay, let's practice individually. Okay, do you study in grade 7? Well, you should answer this as no, I don't, or yes, I do. Okay, if you are a grade 8 student, you cannot say yes, I do. No, I don't. But if you are students of grade 7, you should say yes, I do. Okay. Then, do you like watching television? Do you like? Now, in the same way, okay, short answer. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. If you don't like, you can say, no, I don't. C. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yes, have you? Yes, I. Can you say, yes, I do? Yes, I. See the auxiliary verb here. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Okay. Similarly, next D. Does your father cook food? Does your father cook food? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. If he doesn't cook food, you can say no, he doesn't. In the same way, question E, did you go to health post or hospital last month? Well, think about yourself. Did you go to hospital or health post last month or not? Okay, if you have gone there, okay, if you have been there, you can say, yes, I did. Or if you had not been there, you can say, no, I didn't. If you didn't go, you can say, no, I didn't. Next, F. Can you draw a picture of a dragon? Can you? No? 
yes okay if yes you can say yes i can or if you cannot you can say no i can't g do you have classes on saturday do you have classes no many of you do not have classes on saturday so you what can you say no i don't or if you have classes you can say yes we do okay if you have any extra classes or others you can say yes we do well and then h does your brother or sister like coffee does he or she like coffee or not yes she or he does or no she or he doesn't well i does your friend wear glasses? Think of one, one, one close friend. Does he or she wear glasses? Okay, if yes, you can say yes, he can. Or sorry, he does. Or yes, he does. Or if he doesn't wear glasses, you can say no, he doesn't. Or no, she doesn't. This is the way you can respond, quickly respond to yes, no questions. Okay? Yes, no question should be answered beginning with either yes or no. Okay. Okay, dear students, today in our class we practice some words, pronouncing some words and try out some speaking activities and practice this yes, no question, forming yes, no question and responding to them. Okay. Well, keep practicing these sort of things, asking questions and responding to them at home and even with your friends at school. Will you? Do it. Okay? We'll see. We'll meet in another class. So, till then, have a very good time. Thank you for attention, please. Goodbye.